So this morning is a lovely day. We've had some really horrendous rain for the last few days, so it's still very muddy. There's Bug. She, sorry, not he, she. <laughs> I don't know why I, could, I went into a, a he mode with her the other day, but it's definitely a she. So we have Bug, who has got a home. We have Eve, who, yes, today can announce she has a home. Sadly, Brooke is still without a home. And Jacob is still without a home. Tilly, she has got a home. Milo, he's got a home. And Lily, she's got a home. Clear is without a home and behind her is Kipper and Kipper is still waiting for a home and it's sad because these are Kipper, Kaja, Kia and Kendall all four are from a pedigree Labrador mother and uh, we don't know who the father is sadly that's always what lets them down and you pay a fortune in the UK for a Labrador mix which is all that the Labradoodles are. That's, that's the problem. So, I don't know. A, la a Labra... Santa Paul or something. But they are. And, you know, our adoption fee is a lot less than the God knows how many the hundreds you pay. But ours is 290 But that's to include everything. All the costs, all the delivery, everything. Yet, because... They're dogs and they're from abroad. Although we're English, we're very English and we're very keen to keep the standards to English. Because they're from abroad, nobody wants them. And it's funny because I'm going to get into this debate, which I don't do very often. People say, why would we bring a dog from over in Bulgaria to the UK when the UK is full of shelter dogs already? Well, what it is, it's why not? It's just geography. And apart from that, your shelters are filled with breed dogs of staffies, things like that, which things it can't get at home. So what happens it and people start going to breeders and they buy dogs. So you're supplying and demand. Can't blame me for that one. Steve has the home. Um but there's lots of lots of reasons why we would bring them in from the UK, from Bulgaria to the UK. All I would say is, why not? What have they done? Why is this dog here? Why is Jacob less deserving than the dog sitting in the UK? Why is why is Kipper here less deserving than a dog sitting in a rescue in the UK? Why is Kia sitting there? Why is she less deserving than a dog in the UK? And the answer is absolutely no reason whatsoever. And we're not ageist. We don't care how many children you've got. We don't care how old you are. We don't care if your children are young, as long as they're respectful. I'm not saying all our dogs would be child friendly, but all our all our people that apply for a dog, we have a dog for you. You might live in a flat, you might live in a mansion. You're all deserving of a dog and you really do have to think, well actually maybe, maybe one of these guys is deserving of a home. So anyway, we're all entitled to our own opinions. But mine is, I would have millions of dogs by now if I didn't home in the UK and Germany and places like that. And we've got some really good German contacts now, so thankfully we've started to move on that a lot more. And that's good. Anyway, that's this morning. Beautiful, beautiful, sunny, hot day. Uh, I think it's the eye of the storm. We're due some thunder and lightning tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. So a few days now before we get any more nice weather, so I'm telling these guys to make the most of it. Have a nice day.